Hey guys, welcome back to your channel. Today, we're rolling into Rosedale Station, one of the TTC's lesser used subway stations despite being located very close to downtown Toronto, and one of two outdoor stations on the Young subway line besides Davisville. Let's check it out! Despite being only one station away from the incredibly busy Blue or Young station, Rosedale is one of the TTC's least used stations, averaging only less than 8,000 riders daily in 2018. However, it is one of the original subway stations that opened in 1954 and has been designated a heritage property by the city. The station features an open-cut design, with the main station body sitting atop the southbound platform and two pedestrian bridges allowing access to the northbound platform. The platforms have the usual set of amenities, including designated waiting areas, multiple benches, TVs, and signs. Although it definitely is much colder here than an indoor station, especially with a little bit of winter winds and flurries. Thankfully, winter is finally leaving here in Toronto. Let's go up to the concourse though. The pedestrian bridges offer a great view of the trains and platforms from above, and it is quite a beautiful and calming view. The concourse itself is quite small, made up of a round main concourse and a path to the bus loop. This is also the only entrance to the station, and it does look quite crowded with some standing here waiting for buses. The bus loop is quite long, although it only serves the 82 Rosedale route, which isn't super busy. It kind of reminds me of the curved driveways in front of giant mansions, but the only sports cars here are your good old TTC buses. Besides the bus loop, you can also find other amenities out here such as a telephone, plenty of bike racks, as well as interestingly a set of bike tools, which will definitely come in handy in case of a flat tire or a loose chain. Out here, we can finally see the station in its entirety. It is small, but it has everything you need for a small station like this. Located in the affluent neighborhood of Rosedale, this station definitely does not get a lot of traffic, especially since the 82 Rosedale route isn't a busy bus route, and there aren't that many landmarks around here. One good thing to note though is that since we are on Young Street, you do have access to the 97 Young bus as well as the 320 Young Night bus. So you can use those if you find them more convenient than the subway or during after hours. Adjacent to the station, you can find Bud Sugarman Park, a small park perfect for a stroll or a nice game of frisbee with your friends, or just for a place to chill. The park is named in honor of Bud Sugarman, a civil activist who passed away in 2004. There was actually a proposal to expand the park further into station grounds, but this was rejected by the TTC as they did not feel it was a good enough use in terms of transit and prevented further development at the site. Here, you can also find bikes to rent as part of the city's Bike Share Toronto system, as well as a bridge over the tracks where you can get an even better view of the station platform and trains. In terms of station parking, there is a green P parking lot right across the street, but it doesn't seem to be managed by the TTC. You can also find Ransom Park on that same side of the street, which is a much bigger park than the Butt Sugarman, and connects to Avenue Road by a trail. Alright, that concludes our tour of Rosedale Station. Small, but great for what it is, and a nice place to spot some trains. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below to tell us what you want to see next on the channel. 
We're really grateful for all the support you guys have given us, and we want to make more content for you guys to enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.